Hey everybody, I am here at DreamWorks with Jano Mercado, Joel Crawford, Chris Carr, where we just saw Puss in Boots, Last Wish, third time. <laughs> I'm slacking, you guys. I need to see it more. Mm -hmm. I already know it. We're going to do a quick little fun interview here. So the first question I have is, so I, the last time I saw you guys was December, and it was before the movie came out. Right, yeah. And you guys have been like on a crazy whirlwind tour promoting this film. Do you guys have like a favorite story or funny memory from your promotional tour that you guys have off the top of your head that really sticks out to you? Hmm. You know, um, sorry, this is boring because it's, <laughs> it's not a funny story. Um, honestly, the, the, the biggest thing, because we were, you know, this movie's uh, kind of a mix of, it's a comedy, it's an adventure. Um, it's a little but Kurosawa. It's a little Kurosawa. <laughs> um, and even some of the more like, Emotional Kurosawa, mm -hmm. uh, like, like Redbeard. Yeah. <laughs> um, where that, and that's been the thing where, which I think has surprised us of people saying how much this emotionally um, connected with them, which I think when you think of like a, a sequel mm -hmm. spin off <laughs> 10 years later, uh, it, it, I think it wasn't what people were expecting. And so that's been a really wonderful thing, like hearing people say, like, like multiple times people say, like, I've had a difficult time recently mm -hmm. with you know certain life things, and then watching this movie made me look at life and appreciate it. And it was like that means a lot as filmmakers. And I just have a, a simple um, being stunned by Hollywood story, where just <laughs> on our New York premiere, where uh, when we met uh, Antonio in person for the first time, and he was on the red carpet, and we kind of just like. Bum rushed him. <laughs> and, just, yeah, Jody, yeah. and then he looked, I remember he looked at us and he was like, Hey, I know you guys from the little monitor street. You know, like, oh, but, just like, like, but he was just like, Oh, it's so cool to see you guys in person because I just see you like in the little virtual yeah, screen. Because so we, they're recording it in Spain. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Was, was most of the cast remote like that too? Um, maybe half. Like, yeah, because um, yeah, when, when we can, we, we love being in person together. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and um, But yeah, so and when you watch the movie, it feels like everybody's in the same yeah. spot, so. My next question's for Joel. You have three kids. First of all, how old are they? So, nine, 12, and 14. And what did they think of the film? Um, well, one of them's biased because she's in the film. What? Um, so my youngest daughter actually plays Little Goldie. Um, oh my god, I didn't know that. A little Cockney yeah. accent. Yeah. Um, flawless yeah. Cockney <laughs> accent. Wow. It was funny, because yeah. like, she, she's natural, she's doing it. And then you direct her, you're joking at like, oh, she was doing it better before you were before doing it. Before I give her any notes, I'll just take the bars. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then how do you explain to your kids what you do for a living? Like, what, what do they think you do? I, you know, it's, it's weird. They, it's, they understand what I do, actually, because they've grown up here. Like, they've come into this theater mm -hmm. here at DreamWorks so many times to, like, see movies that mm -hmm. we're working on. And... Um, it actually kind of became just normal to them, mm -hmm. uh, but they fully understand the process of animation because they've been around it so yeah. much. Yeah. Are they weighing in on Oscar campaigning at this point too? Are they like truly industry babies now? They they so are. You know, they're they're so, so jaded. <laughs> this one is actually a really good and tough movie critic. Oh, that's yes. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Great note. So actually, and whenever we would screen something and the kids would watch, like mm -hmm. um, Riley has always been like. You're not gonna make me laugh, Dad. <laughs> like it's like the challenge, <laughs> right? Like, we got it. We got what, it. What's the like? What's the key to Riley's like humor bomb? Like what gets him laughing? Um, I just his character, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. He's sophisticated. I remember, I remember when, he, when he was when he was younger. I don't know if he was like five or something, but he said there was. It was like a movie you watch in theater, and at the end of it, he just stood up and was like, this movie is not good. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it was right before, like, the, the end credits and the music kicked in, and so it was, like, quiet, and the whole theater, like, Dang. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, I won't savage. say what the movie is. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it is. You can tell us off camera. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like personally. <laughs> All right, and then my last question is, Harvey Boolean as Perito. Yeah. How did you guys find him specifically? Did you have him in mind, or how did that process happen? Yeah. You, you know, it's... But like we always, we were like kind of this is what we do the shadows and actually, mm -hmm. full circle like I was talking to these guys, um, there was a, a scene where his character Guillermo was talking about he wanted to be a vampire because of Antonio Banderas yeah. was the first Latino vampire wow. he'd seen and he's like you know and if he could do it then maybe I could and he said it with such 
earnestness than mm -hmm. that performance. Like Solus is like, wow, this is crazy. Doesn't he feel like he would be like perfect, yeah. like um, the perfect like foil and like friend for yeah. for Puss in Boots, especially he's talking about Antonio. Like, just <laughs> and, so, and, and, and then like yeah. Daniel, you had mentioned like first like. Oh, Harvey would be awesome. And mm -hmm. then at the same time, our casting director, Pitsy Soper, yeah. brought that name to us and we're like, oh, this is, we have to make this work. So, yeah, we um, really have to sell it. Yeah. He the universe was working perfect He's in so that role. Good. I can't imagine anyone else playing that role. It's yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. So good. He is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, he is. So good. But I just wanted to say thank you guys for taking the time to sit down for this. Yeah. Interview. Yeah. It's for watching fun. <laughs> Congratulations. Third time. I need to catch up. I feel like yeah. my friends have seen it six, seven, eight times. Oh. I'm like, and I'm the biggest. Yeah, uh, he's down there, so I gotta binge it this weekend. Yeah. But thanks for this interview, I really appreciate it, and just congratulations on all the success. I'm so proud of you guys, and uh, good luck with the Oscars, guys. Thank you, thank you. So exciting. Thank you, guys. We'll see you guys again soon. Thanks, Dan. Awesome. <laughs>